Hello, hello everyone, my name is Natalie Parker and this is the start of my series on how to use ZD Plaskin. A little bit of background on myself, I am a 20-year-old chemistry student from the University of Northern Iowa. Over the summer of 2020, I was fortunate enough to conduct research with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln's RU program. My research was conducted fully online. I studied the behavior of argon, oxygen, and water plasma within different conditions using the ZD Plaskin software. I came in with no background on how to code, so it provided a great challenge for me. If you'd like to read my research, I have uploaded my poster to my channel. I'll be creating a series of six video tutorials with how to install the software, understand it, as well as work through each of the four examples provided by ZD Plaskin with increasing difficulty. The software itself is super easy once you get to know what you're doing, but can be a bit intimidating at first. And that's why I'm here. I'm going to help you through each little step. So let's take a look. This is video one, just installing the software. Before we get started, I'm going to take a minute to thank the amazing people that made this opportunity possible for me. I'd like to thank the National Science Foundation and the University of Nebraska-Lincoln for funding my research. I'd also like to thank my mentors, Dr. Barry Chung and Deepa Chiorty, for guiding me through my research and teaching me so much. My goals for today are to download and run MinGW, ZD Plaskin, and QT Plaskin. I will give a little bit of background on each, but if you'd like more information, I suggest taking a look at my next video, which will go through each of the components in the ZD Plaskin software. So first, let's look at MinGW. This is a Fortran compiler that I needed to add to my computer. I didn't have one previously stall stalled or anything like C++, so I just needed to add it. For more information on MinGW, go to MinGW.org. I'm using the version 6.3.0, and here is the link to it on SourceForge for this specific version, which I've included in the description. Once you have that downloaded, you can open the Manager Setup tool. Hit Install and choose where you want to put it. Hit Continue and this will take a little bit to install MinGW. Once you have that downloaded, you can move on to selecting what packages you want to use. There's a huge list that will vary person to person, whether you want like C++ or Fortran, but go ahead and choose what you'd like. Go to Installation and apply those changes and all those packages will be downloaded. This might take a little bit of time as well. The final step is to uh, go into the MinGW installation is to add it to our environmental va variables. First, go into the MinGW file and uh, copy the path to the bin folder. Go to the control panel, system and security, system, advanced system settings, and a new box, box will pop up. Under the advanced tab, you will find the environmental variables and click that. Under the system variables, you will highlight the path and then click edit. Here, you can paste the path for the MinGW bin folder. Click OK, OK, and you can close your window. And it's done! You have fully installed MinGW, and you can check your version now. Open your command prompt and locate the MinGW folder. Type gfortran dash dash version and hit enter, and it'll show you which version you're using. Alright, so next up, we are going to talk about the ZD Plaskin software. ZD Plaskin stands for Zero Dimension Plasma Kinetics. It uses a differential equation solver and a database reader to predict the behavior of many equations at once. It reads GFortran, which is why we needed our MinGW compiler, and I'll go into video on what this software is in my next video. To download ZD Plaskin, go to the website. I have a link in my description. I'll be working in Windows, so all of my tutorials will be using the Windows download. The download itself has a bunch of components, but the most important parts are the preprocessor, the, de um, the devode solver, and the Bullsig database readers. There isn't much to change when uh, you're trying to run ZD Plaskin, just be sure to extract all your files. Finally, we can talk about Qt Plaskin. Qt Plaskin is an extension of ZD Plaskin. It'll use our output from the ZD Plaskin data to plot it. To uh, notify the ZD Plaskin software that you want to use this, we need to add this line to our user code. To download Qt Plaskin, go to the How to Use section of ZD Plaskin. It'll give you a link on where to uh, download, where you can download Qt Plaskin. The software itself is called QtPlaskin.exe. It's right here. It can be a bit tricky to find, so I suggest just looking it up in your search bar. Um, there isn't much to it. You just have to extract your files, and you can keep these in the exact same section as your MinGW and ZD Plaskin. And that's it. That's all I got for video one. I hope this helped you run your program. If you need any help with ZD Plaskin, you can email me at natdparker22 at gmail.com. Another great way to get help is to join our Google group. On the ZD Plaskin website, you can go to the contract, contact tab. It will give you a link to our group, so post any questions you have. So hey, I hope this was useful for you guys. If you need anything, let me know. You have a good one. Bye.